Hey, Wayne here, and today I have the My Gecko Gear body cam to show you. About three months ago, back in March, they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to do a review of their body cam. So I said yes. First day I got it, I did a quick water test. <laughs> and uh, it passed. It, it did really great with that. You're going to see that in the video if you keep watching. But uh, I wanted to apologize to My Gecko Gear for taking so long to get this video out. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so here is the box for the uh, My Gecko Gear body cam. I do not know how you say that, but it's uh, AEGIS 100. So take a look at the back real quick. And let's see, you get a 1296p Super HD camera, IP65 waterproof, and I'm gonna show you a water test that I did a little bit later. 140 degree wide angle lens, a two inch LCD display, built in microphone, drop protection. I'll tell you, I did drop this a few times um, already and I have not broken it. So I guess it does pass the drop test. A 32 gigabyte internal storage. You can't put in your own SD card. Uh, that would have been nice to be able to do, but you it, you get what you get, and it, this is a 32 gigabyte internal storage card that comes in it. Infrared night vision, password protected system, nine hour battery life, and loop recording. So let me show you everything that was in the box. Uh, USB cable, the little wall power supply to plug it into. It has this one clip. I'm not sure what this part is for. Maybe... Uh, people in security or law enforcement might know this might fasten to a harness or something that you wear. This is a, another clip. Um, they both twist. So I just thought I'd show that to you. Uh, what else is here? A little thank you card and a manual. So let's get rid of all of that. And of course it comes with the My Gecko Gear body cam. So let's uh, take a look at some of the things that you can do with this. To turn it on, you can either pa uh, press the power button and hold it down, or you can simply just push the orange button and it will turn. Oh, you have to hold it for a little bit, though, for like a few seconds. Recording started. Okay, so once you turn it on this way, it will automatically start to record, as you can see on the screen. And uh, if you want to stop it from recording, just push it again, and it buzzes and vibrates. If you just power it on, then you could press the button to get it started. If you hold down the FN key, it'll switch from uh, regular vision to night vision which is right there. So, and I, you can't see it in this, in this screen right now, but I'll show it to you a little bit later in a video. So if you hold the FN key down a little bit longer or button, you will turn on a flashlight. Okay. So those are some good things to know. On the other side, you have your USB compartment for charging it. And there's a little reset button in there. If you press this button, it takes a picture. And if you press this button, then it will only record audio. Now, if you want to get into the menu, you just press M. And it's set to, um, to all zeros right now, so you can change that. But if you just keep pressing it, well, you'll mess it up. So... <laughs> Let me start that again. Uh, okay. Okay. So now, once you get to the menu and you have all those asterisks there, you just press OK to go through them and it will unlock. So it's probably a good idea to change that when you get a chance. So I was going to go through the screens, but they're a little bit hard. So I guess I got it in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you manual pages. So... I think this might be a better way to go. So if you need to uh, see what any of this says, 
I'm going to go through these kind of quick too. Just pause the video and then uh, hit play again. So this is the first two pages with the menu functions, video resolutions, megapixels, bursts, self-timer, con continuous looping, which I like to use so my, my uh, card doesn't fill up. Well, it fills up, but it just overwrites the first video once it gets to the end. Uh, another thing is the quality, pre-record on the next page, uh, delay recording, car DV mode, loop record, split time, slideshow, white LED infrared, motion detection, record warning, language, and screensaver. So I'm going to go to the next page now. LCD brightness, auto power off, LED light. Key tone, volume, password, ID setting, change password, time setup, default setting, vision of the version of the device. And let's see, more information. Uh, this is other stuff. So this is not stuff related to the menu, to the screen. So I think all of this is what you'll need to know if you're interested in one of these body cams. But I would like to get to some of the footage and show you what it looks like so let's get to that now mill hit me oh. Oh, okay 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 turn it off 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes you do, and you, how do you like it? <laughs> how do you like it? <laughs> Mom, who's your favorite kid? Wayne. <laughs> You're so bad. Mom, so who's your real favorite kid? <laughs> <laughs> you got 163, well, 163 cents. Yes, Got it. Got it. 90. 92, 96. Okay, I'm in a storage closet in the house, and I'm going to turn on the night vision. All right, I see some LEDs lighting up, so uh, three three on each side of the lens and uh, you should be able to see me pretty good now this is the closet that I'm in and uh, that wall back there is probably about 12 feet or so away from where I am right now now if I press and hold the same button I use to turn on the night vision that should turn on a light like a flashlight let's see here yep there it is let me turn off the night vision yeah, there we go. So that is the flashlight. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little walk through in the house. It's nighttime and not many lights are on, so this is what it looks like. And in a sec, I'm gonna put infrared on because there's something walking on the ground. Ah, it's Amy. Hey, Amy. Okay, so I am in our garage, which is kind of a mess because I haven't finished unpacking yet, but um, these lights have sensors, so what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to walk around the garage, but if I do, the, the lights will come back on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the light off. Let's see here. Okay, and now I'm going to turn night vision on so you can see how dark it is in here. And yeah, it reaches all the way to the garage door back there, so that's pretty good. Oh, motion detection got me. So, see if I turn that off again. There we go. So, yeah, pretty good. So, let's see. Let's turn off the night vision. And let's turn on the flashlight. Okay, so now... Oh, God, here we go again. <laughs> I can't even turn side to side. So, actually, here in the dark, the night vision works better than the flashlight does. So let's turn the flashlight off and let's turn the night vision on. Yeah, night vision works way better. So, <laughs> okay, so um, night vision, major plus. 
the uh, flashlight, it's okay. But um, I'd rather use the night vision. So who is this camera for? It could be for a security company, law enforcement. Maybe you go camping and it's nice and spooky and you're looking for things like Bigfoot or a ghost or something. Uh, ghost hunting, probably be good with the uh, night vision. Or maybe you just get caught out in a storm, which now I guess I'm reaching. I'm not sure why you need one in a storm, but hey, who knows? Maybe there are good reasons to use one in a storm. So anyway, I think there's lots of reasons. I'd like to know what your reason is for wanting one or having one. Uh, please leave me a comment down below. I'll also leave a link to where you can purchase this camera in the description below the video. So check that out and I'll see you later.